Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing what's the next big manifestation coming towards you. So we're gonna do, be doing a tea leaf reading today. So please choose your group now. We have group number one, group two, and group three. So please choose your group and let's get started with your reading. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's see what's the next big thing that you are manifesting. So what is and what is coming your way. So we have this cup here. So let me just tune in to your reading and let's see what is coming towards you. Let's see what you are manifesting. Okay, so we're also gonna have a look at the tarot cards in just a moment, but we're gonna see what are, what is coming towards you. Okay. So I see that your brain has been a, been a bit scattered. I feel like you've not been able to really focus because I feel like your attention has been elsewhere. I feel like you have definitely been like ahead. You've been looking into your future and I feel like possibly been looking into your future a little bit too much where you actually can't concentrate on the present moment. So what I'm gonna suggest to you is to do some mindfulness meditation. Um, and also remember that the, your moment right now is equally as important as your future. Okay. So let's just see. I'm just hearing not living in the future. I feel like you have like an angry parent or somebody who's kind of around you at the moment who has basically been causing you a lot of stress. This could be a family member, partner, somebody who has a lot of unresolved stuff and they've been, they've been basically treating you really badly or you've been going for a lot. So I'm going to recommend for you to kind of just stay away from them as much as possible. Um, get your own space away from them. I see something's definitely leaving your life. So I feel like the next thing that's coming towards you is definitely going to be freedom away from feeling tied down. I'm seeing your, uh, your ankles are like shackled and I feel like you're definitely moving away from that. You're moving away from feeling agitation and stress from feeling the lack of freedom. I feel like 2022 I'm seeing you traveling so if that's if you were able to do that I do see you doing that I'm seeing like a little rabbit um, I don't know if you've got a rabbit recently but I'm seeing you might get in, be getting some animals um, or you might come across a rabbit as your animal totem I definitely am seeing um, I'm seeing like a womb uh, sorry the uterus I'm seeing the uterus uh, so for some of you guys you may be uh, working on kind of sexual trauma or anything to do with your lower chakras um, kind of dealing with safety and security and feeling strong within yourself I'm also getting drawn to the country of Nigeria and Australia so hello to anyone who is from there or had any family descending from there um, I see that there's definitely a new change coming in around like I feel like everything is kind of molding into one so I do feel like you are definitely letting go of just the stress around needing to be a certain way needing to be a certain person I feel like that's actually what the major next thing is for you because when you do that when you release any outdated beliefs about yourself any needs to please anyone I feel like you're actually going to fly not maybe not literally <laughs> but I feel like you're going to attract like something major in because you have release this stress around okay I have to be this way I have to do these things and especially if you're a fixed sign you may kind of put yourself into a corner so I feel as if you're learning that you do have options and I'm seeing you like taking off your clothes like shedding layers um and I'm also seeing like a scene from Bruce Almighty if anyone has ever seen that it's got Jim Carrey in it he like he's like he's apparently like God in this film and he like pulls his arms backwards and he like takes off all his clothes it's kind of like that it's like sudden release of something and maybe you guys are having like a sudden revamp of your wardrobe or the way you dress that's like it feels more of an internal thing guys so I feel like for you guys it is more of an internal change but this is no less important than external change because when you have this is you're going to feel much more freedom I don't know if you guys have been getting left foot cramp or foot cramp in any like like cramp in any part of your body I, I keep getting foot cramp in my left foot yeah, I see you're just welcoming in change. I see you're welcoming in new people. I do feel like you're going to manifest a new group of friends. I feel like you're being drawn out of your old group of friends to a new group who are more supportive. They ha have much more to give to you. 
it's not about the qual quantity of people, it's about the quality and what they actually want to give to you. Um, I just see something climbing out of your life, like coming out and, and releasing itself from, uh, from stress. I do see you've been feeling quite separate from humanity recently, which is very understandable because the energies have been cuckoo. Um, so just pace yourself, be careful with yourself. And I do see a really big diet change for you guys as well. All right, so let's have a look and see uh, what the tarot has to say. And I also have an extra astrology card or astrology cards. So let's put this guy here. Let's move this down a little bit. All right, let's get you some tarot. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. Okay, Queen of Swords. Ooh, hi, couple. I was not expecting that at all. Okay, so this is nice. This is nice. It's a very intense relationship, though. For some of you guys, it could be a karmic situation. But it doesn't feel like a bad thing. Like some of you guys, okay, maybe it isn't the most comfortable thing if it is karmic. But for a lot of you guys, this is actually quite a healing relationship in some in some capacity. So let's have a look at your astrology cards. Where did I put them? I literally have lost them. Sorry, guys, bear with me. Okay. We have a Gemini and we have the full moon. So let's have a look at these two cards first. So with the full moon and Gemini, this is saying that you're basically getting peak to your achievements. So everything you've been searching for and waiting for is now ready for you guys. So I do feel as if what you've been waiting for is now starting to manifest. I do see that you have definitely been waiting a very long time for relationships and meeting people who are on your wavelength. So I feel like with this energy peak harvest blessings and achievement, I feel like this is you finally finding yourself, which is so cute. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially if you're a Gemini, you've definitely been suffering with identity crisis and really looking into your emotions because Geminis do struggle with their emotions quite a bit, especially when they can't kind of comprehend how to like go about them, how to assess them, um, really just dealing with just the kind of heaviness and feeling like you can't really be yourself. So this is just confirmation that you can be yourself, you can fully express yourself, and it's time for you to allow that to come in. And I do feel as if with a full moon, I mean, you may be watching this around a full moon as well. Um, it may be a Gemini full moon or a specific full moon that's gonna really create this sort of big change. But I do feel like because you are starting to assert yourself, you're recognizing who is good in your life and who is not. And what's coming towards you, I see that you're going to make some sort of decision around speaking your truth. It's kind of like, okay, if I speak my truth, I feel like this relationship will end. And if that is actually true, guys, if something, if a relationship ends because you're being honest, it wasn't a good relationship to begin with, you know. So it is also showing you that you're, you might be teaching somebody the way. So you may be a counsellor or healer, kind of helping somebody out of a situation. But I do feel as if you may be with a partner as well. Your partner's kind of getting to a certain point in their life where they're not reaching any more of their emotional potential. They've kind of stopped. So I do feel as if you are either having to end the relationship or guide yourself away from this person. But I do see for some of you guys, this does actually feel like quite an important connection. So if you've been dealing with working on speaking your truth, I actually see some of you guys, if you're single, manifesting a really nice relationship with somebody. And this can be like, it can even be like a guide or a counsellor turning into a relationship. Obviously, if that's something that you're able to do, obviously within parameters um, of professionalism. But I do see that, somebody who is, is really going to help you. And I do see like a feminine and masculine relationship here or male and female relationship that doesn't have to be romantic, but I just see it could turn out romantic. It could be somebody really helps you out of a situation and then they, you know, they help you to feel much more better about yourself and help you to feel much more calmer. And then you actually manifest this new relationship with them. And as I say, it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be friendship as well. It just feels really beautiful. I really, really like this. This feels really, really lovely. Um, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information's down below. If you would like to check out my crystal shop, that's also down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what the next big manifestation is coming your way for you guys. Okay, so this is very interesting. Whoa. You guys have got really big energy. I don't know if you're a Leo or a Virgo or somebody who's just got like very intense energy, like, oh, like massive heart energy for this group. Okay, so I feel like a massive need to expand. I feel like you guys are working on expanding your energy, like expanding yourself. And this kind of looks like some sort of animal. 
So I do feel like this is kind of representing the phoenix coming, um, coming out of the ashes and manifesting like this new version of you and feeling much more free. Okay, so I do have the tarot and some oracle cards here as well and we'll look at those uh, after I've looked at the uh, tea leaves, okay? So, I just realised tea leaves look like dirt, like... <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why I picked that up, okay. Alright, so I'm seeing some of you guys might be buying chickens, like a chicken coop, um, to get like fresh eggs. I don't know if that's some of you guys, but I see that's all happening. It's kind of like a new lifestyle, like you want a new a new style of life. I'm just going to arrange these tea leaves, see if there's anything else that wants to come out. Yeah, I'm just seeing this animal. It looks, it's just like an animal, this main, like, darker section here. I just feel like this is like a brand new, um, like a brand new embodiment of something else. So I feel like the next big thing for you guys is I see that there's like three people that are coming towards you who are going to start making a mark on your life very soon. And this feels in about two to three months there's gonna be like an inkling, a trickling of new people coming in. And I feel like obviously this is timeless. So whenever you pick up on this video, um, just take it as it resonates. But I feel like you also, some of you guys wanna pursue sport. And I'm saying, I'm, I'm hearing just go for it. If that's something you wanna do, I'm hearing. Some of you guys are females and you're like, oh, you know, maybe it's not like a female sport. Girl, if you like any sort of sport, if you like anything and you're a female, friggin' go for it. Even if you're a male and you think, oh, that's too girly or whatever, just friggin' go for it if that's something you want to do, okay? This is confirmation to just go for it. Um, okay, I see you guys feeling a lot more stable in the next couple of months. Um, I'm hearing just give it time. You will feel much more stable. The energies will calm down. Um, it's just kind of, and everything's building up for the end result um, of this new age of Aquarius. So don't be surprised if you do feel a bit unsettled, but I do feel like it's gonna start to feel much more, uh, you're gonna feel much more free. I'm picking up on like a Cinderella dress. Um, I'm picking up on like specifically the one that, oh, I can't remember her name. She was in, um, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, what is that film? I actually can't remember. Okay, when I'm channeling, sometimes it's really hard to remember stuff. So, you know the song Rewrite the Stars? It's that film, Zendaya, thank you. It's Zendaya, I'm seeing like you guys like wearing this magical dress that lights up. And I feel like this is all about you expressing yourself and not being afraid to go towards your inner child and really assisting your inner child and, and helping it to express itself. Because sometimes there is a part of us that just wants to be heard. And I feel like you're really looking into that and, and I feel like watching things from your childhood will really benefit you. Yeah, I definitely see you looking into your childhood. I wouldn't be surprised if any of you guys are doing any past life regression, uh, childhood regression, uh, finding out new memories about things that have happened. I just feel like it's this really deep sense of like scooping up all the old stuff and then bringing it to the surface. Um, I'm seeing you in the desert as well. And normally when I see that in a, a message, it's because um, you're basically really, really t getting out all the stocks to get through something. Because obviously in the desert is very harsh, especially for us human beings. Not so much reptiles, but like human beings, it's hard because we can only be at a certain temperature before we start to burn. So I feel like what's happening is you are really kind of like digging your nails into the ground, like really getting through this uncomfortable situation. I feel like it is definitely gonna change for you. Like it is gonna improve, things are gonna to start to feel easier. I feel like you might be going on a camping trip or camping or caravanning or road trip or something like that. Like things are clumping together. I'm seeing you like packing and assessing and um, yeah, you're really like assessing your life as well. You're really like looking into things that are in the future. This feels good. I see you guys wearing a witch's hat. If any of you like Harry Potter, then hi. Um, I'm seeing you guys building roots as well. You're starting to feel much more grounded um, and you're starting to express yourself, like you're naturally expressing yourself. And you're not like a, like a flower, like the fl a flower doesn't compare itself to other flowers. That's basically, you need to embody that energy or needing to embody that energy. So you're not judging yourself or comparing yourself to other people because use that as a, like a door post, door post? I don't know what the word is. Oh my God, Mercury and Shadow. Um, basically as a post to see what you can achieve, not what you can't and, and comparing, comparing yourself, okay? So let's have a look at your tarot. Let's see what is coming towards you more specifically. Let's see what the tarot has to say. I have some astrology cards as well. So let's start with the tarot first. Let's see what she has to say. 
All right, so we have the Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Sun, lovely. This is literally so self-explanatory. I feel like you guys are feeling much more content because you're at, it's like you're allowing yourself to release something and then you're like, holy hell, why did I take so long? <laughs> I've never said holy hell in my life. <laughs> um, you guys have quite old humor. I feel like some of you guys have quite old fashioned humor um, and quite old fashioned sayings. That's probably why I said that. But I do see that you're and now acknowledging and accepting that something needs to go. And when you do leave it, it's going to feel really good. OK, so if you're struggling to let go of something, just letting you know that it is going to be OK and you are going to find contentment and happiness when you do that. And I feel like this is a lot for a lot of you guys. It's just you holding yourself back and stopping yourself from really fully expressing that that you inside of you like part of you's really been neglected because possibly you have been told you're not good enough. You haven't had the support. I feel like you're really allowing yourself to like I feel like at the moment some of you guys you haven't really got the support that you need so I feel like you're really having to dig deep within yourself to find like I can support myself I don't have to have external <clears throat> external validation I don't have to have compliments or anything like that to you know help me get through this I mean obviously that is good too and don't feel like you can't get help like if you feel the need to get help counseling or have a reading with somebody or something like that just allow yourself to have um sorry there guys there's tea everywhere um <laughs> allow yourself to have that um com a com company and assistance because there's no shame in asking for help but look how amazing this is like I love the yellow like it's so beautiful Okay, so we have North Node. Oh my God, of course we have Leo. I was really picking up on Leo for you guys. I love that. I love that. Okay, Leo, Waning Gibbous and Vesta Devotion. So what I'm feeling is this is actually connecting. These, I feel like these cards are actually connecting with each other. So that's really lovely. So I'm going to have a look at this card first, which is Vesta. So I feel like keep focusing your true north on the thing that you need to achieve so if there's something that you're really excited about or there's something you've always wanted in your life but you haven't actually manifested it yet it doesn't mean it's not going to come if you genuinely have a love for something it means it's coming okay it genuinely means it's coming but sometimes it does take a little bit of time to actually manifest it because if it's meant for you it is definitely meant for you don't ever question your flame that's within you because I feel like that's something that's really going to drive you towards um, your future. So basically what I feel like you're manifesting is happiness, fulfillment and the, the creativity. I feel like what you're manifesting is you're going to feel much more like yourself. And I feel like you're manifesting patience, you're manifesting, um, say if you really want to be a dancer or you have like a really strong career in mind that you want to do, I see you doing that. I see you actually doing that because this is your north node. This is preparing you for your destiny. This is preparing you for what you have been waiting for. This is preparing you for what you have been searching for, longing for, waiting for. And basically what's happening is everything is being refined so you can get on that path. And Leo is all about creativity. It's also about dating as well. So you could be dating a Leo or manifesting a really lovely fire sign in your life who really appreciates you. And I do feel like you're going to get a support from a Leo or there's definitely going to be a Leo in your life or Leo energy like childlike energy where you can really support yourself I generally feel like you guys need to have more fun so I feel like the more fun you have the more you're going to feel much more free and like you have choice um I feel like we need to have as much choice as we can within these restrictions right now because you know they're trying everything to restrict us and it's not unusual girl like it is coming out of the woodwork and I'm not here for it girl I'm like no sis no thank you like I'm in the Aquarian age bitch you know it's not for me and I feel like that's the energy that you need to kind of embody or are embodying and I do see you guys may even be coming pregnant if you guys are in a really loving uh, if you, obviously if you want a, a baby or if you are in a partnership that you you know you're looking for a baby or you want a baby I feel like that is coming towards you this is also your rebirth your inner child is like screaming like hi look at me like like look at me like that's what I'm hearing it's like your inner child is like look at me I want you to understand me and I do feel like for some of you guys having this child or baby is going to really help you to feel connected to your inner child again um, this could also be a puppy or a kitten. I don't see this being a um, 
quote-unquote accidental pregnancy I see as being a, a planned pregnancy and when I say accidental I don't mean that babies are accident at all I just can't remember the word right now <laughs> non-prepared pregnancy okay <laughs> okay guys so thank you so much for watching if you'd like a private reading uh, all the information is down below along with my crystal shop thank you so much for being here I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here let's see what you guys are manifesting okay you still got a little bit of tea in the bottom of your cup that's interesting so I feel like there's definitely something that you're still holding on to and I feel like this is starting to release I'm, I'm hearing rearing its ugly head so if there is something that you've been wanting to let go of I definitely I, I literally see you having the most amazing rebirth of your entire life and you may have gone through you know several rebirths in your life but I do see you kind of, sorry guys, there's tea on the table. Um, I see you guys manifesting like clearer vision and I feel like you're gonna manifest a relationship. Like this feels like your heart is opening. So if any of you guys are single or wanting a connection like that, I see it, I really see it. I'm seeing like a little heart in the corner. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try my best to focus it. Like literally just here. If you guys can see that. So I definitely see that there's love coming towards you. I see a relationship forming and I see that you're going to be able to manifest the new version of you. And because you're about manifesting this new version of you, this new part of you is waking up ready for this new partnership. Yeah, I definitely see you meeting someone. Um, I see you having a best friend as well who's really going to support you. Like I'm seeing um, equal, like equality on both sides. Um, that's beautiful. I love that. I'm seeing children being made. I'm seeing that maybe if you have any siblings, they may fall pregnant within the next year or so. Um, I'm seeing clearer vision. Like, I don't know if you guys are wanting to get glasses or contacts. I'm seeing literal clear vision. Like some of you guys are wanting to get contacts or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm seeing you guys like inventing something and making a lot of money. So if that's something you guys have been looking into or you're sort of person to like tinker with things, like unravel stuff and like put it back together, I see you doing that. Like models, of, you know, like model trains and model planes. Some of you guys might be doing little models like that or even like puzzles. I see you wanting to travel the world. I definitely see that happening for you in your future. I, I see like the world is open for you. This is definitely part of the Aquarian age. I'm feeling it. It feels very light. It feels more like the new age, you know? Um, I'm done if you guys resonate with giraffes, but I'm picking up on that really strongly. Uh, I'm seeing you guys experimenting with makeup and maybe trying on false lashes for the first time, maybe trying on false nails for the first time. Um, I'm seeing you guys buying like a little crystal beginner's set. So because you want to get into crystals, so I see you buying that. Um, and just like going into your witchiness. I feel like you're not allowing people to stop you from being who you are in terms of like spirituality. So if you're very new on your spiritual journey and people have really judged you for loving crystals or anything witchy, even just being an authentic person, a lot of narcissists don't like that girl. So <laughs> I feel like, I was so, I was so blunt, <laughs> but I feel like for some of you guys, you're like, Do you know what, fuck you, like <laughs> leave me alone. Like, I feel like you're literally just being yourself and that is beautiful. So I'm seeing to not sweat the small stuff and not to um, dismay anything that's small. So say if you do get a small opportunity or a small amount of money, thank the universe or thank yourself for being able to manifest that because I feel like this is part of you not being um, able to congratulate yourself on the smaller things and they're as important as the bigger things. Okay, um, I'm seeing a party happening. Obviously this is after all this rubbish that's happening around the world. <laughs> um, yeah, I see you guys like coming together with more people. I feel like my heart shark has really been triggered in this reading. So I feel like your heart is just, your heart is literally opening so much. Okay, I have like a really big message for you. I've got to put my cup down for this message. I feel like you guys have really opened your heart chakra. And what's happened is there's a lot of trauma that's come up. And with this trauma is you're having, you need to release this trauma because you're not going to be able to manifest um, someone who is, extremely authentic extremely amazing and mature until you release this old trauma okay until you release all of this old crap that needs to go and when I say crap I don't mean to undermine your trauma at all I just mean that it's just stuff that you really don't want anymore um you're you're releasing it it's, it has to go to manifest this long-term connection and not to say you don't have to release your trauma to manifest 
anything, you know, you don't even have to release your trauma, but what I'm feeling is this relationship that you want has no karma. And it doesn't have, I mean, obviously we all learn something within our, every relationship we have. It's not to say we're not going to learn anything, but this relationship is so meant for you. Like this needs to happen. You've had to go through like so many lessons and so many stages of your life to get to where you need to go. It's almost like I'm seeing like the universe looking down on you and it's like, this girl is ready. She's ready. She's gone through the different stages. It's kind of like a hero's journey kind of thing where you see like Harry Potter or like any like large character where they've gone through so much trauma and then they finally defeat this kind of big boss villain and then they can manifest this new life and feel much more free and feel much more like empowered. And it's kind of like that. It's kind of like you've gone through all the stages. You've done all the work. It's like this last little thing that is actually the, the last like this is deep stuff, guys. This is some really deep stuff. So let's see what you guys are manifesting. Let's see what's coming towards you, my lovely group number three. So let's start off with the tarot. There is tea everywhere. So I'm sorry if you keep seeing me doing this. It's just because there's tarot everywhere. So tarot, oh my God, Mercury retrograde. I don't like you. Okay. <laughs> tea, there is tea everywhere. And that might literally be a thing. There might literally be like tea everywhere. Uh, in terms of gossip. So you guys have four tarot cards. You're the only group to have four. So you guys are special. You guys are very special. Okay, so the Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. Okay, the Death card makes so much freaking sense. And then we have the, oh yes, yes, Queens. Oh yes. Right, this feels good. This feels good. Whoops. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room for this, but this feels good. Look at this guy. Woo, girl, you're going through some intense stuff. Okay, right, let's clarify that with these cards. Yep, Chiron the Wounded Healer. That makes so much freaking sense. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so, all right. First thing I'm really looking into is the Capricorn energy. Capricorns can be very disciplined and in terms of emotions, they can almost push them under the rug like they're not important. So that's the one thing that I'm really picking up on is you guys. Oh my God, this is so synchronistic. Okay, we have, I'm getting excited. Can you tell? Right, we have Chiron the Wounded Healer. We have Lunar Eclipse, releasing the Prast, Prast. Yes. Releasing the past, breakthrough, pushing limitations, healing, and then we have Capricorn. This is also representing the Capricorn age. So Capricorns on the more negative side can be very controlling, very restrictive, um, very, very, um, almost like, yeah, just very controlling, need to like control everything. So with this energy, I feel like you're learning to not go towards people who are controlling. Um, look at the more feminine energy, look at the more feminine side of things, the heart energy of things, the unconditional love, where love isn't conditional. That is what I feel like you're learning to be attracted to. So what you're releasing is the need to rush relationships, push them, uh, manipulate anything to manifest something, um, be this certain person that they want you to be. You are releasing all of that old stuff and all these people who told you that you weren't good enough, who basically didn't like themselves, that's why they did that to you, you're now releasing that. Can you see that you? this is you pushing your back away from these people? You're this little skeleton dude who's like pushing your back away from these people like, no bitch, I'm gonna do this thing, I'm gonna go through it. And it's almost like these people who are very unhealed, um, not to say there's anything wrong with that, I just feel like these people have been treated you, have treated you really badly. They've been a representation of the healing that you haven't been able to really push through because you've had to be in survival mode for such a long time. Oh God, this is a heavy reading. Love it. Let's get it. Let's get it. You know, so this death card is you going into this new partnership with somebody who is stable, who is understands you, who is genuine. And this is the positive side of Capricorn, the nurturing, the determined, the uh, loyal, all of those things. And also they are really good at looking out from a perspective. They're very, almost like Sagittarians. They're very good at kind of looking out at a distance and seeing things from a broader perspective. That is the positive Capricorn that you are manifesting. No longer any negative Capricorn rising, sun, moons, you know, Mars, any of those certain people, they could have had that in their chart. Uh, it could be your, you possibly, you have Capricorn in your energy that you're really trying to work through. 
um, the possible like controlling and they're very disciplined as well and sometimes we don't always have to be disciplined sometimes it is needed to actually focus on unconditional love and things not being conditional not everything is conditional you know like a like a dog this is why we have animals on this earth to teach us unconditional love to teach us that we don't have to have conditions within our relationships within our love life because it, that's not love that is conditional that is I'll give you I'll give this to you if you give it to me and that's not that's not unconditional. Unconditional is, I genuinely love you. I want to care for you. What do you need? And the other person is reciprocating that exact energy. So this is also really lovely. This is also big ideas that are coming towards you. So you're going to get so many freaking downloads about what you have lost, what you are bringing in. And that is so amazing. So what is coming in for you? New relationships, new release of the past, pushing through breakthroughs, massive amount of butterflies. You're most likely going to see caterpillars, um, horses, uh, phoenix any sort of phoenix imagery girl it is intense i love it so this is beautiful i also see you having healing from somebody so if you uh are thinking of doing reiki with somebody or any like kind of crystal healing anything like that i see that being released from your energy and it, i just see it being really beautiful so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop please do so all the information is down below guys you are doing an amazing job i actually feel the need to pull you one more card before i go i just want to see what's the next thing after this kind of capricorn releasing beautiful so virgo is a much more gentler uh, earth sign obviously no shade to anyone who's capricorn i love my capricorns but virgo is much more sensitive it's much more empathic it is much more um generous it's a more generous sign in, in a more spiritual way so that's what i'm feeling it's like you're allowing yourself to have healing and release perfectionism i want to pull you guys a couple more actually let's just get a couple more i'm very interested in what this is beautiful speaking your truth with mercury so much knowledge is coming towards you. I'm hearing a phone call. I'm hearing the phone ringing. So you might have a phone call from somebody who's really important. I want that one. I surrender. Pisces. 12th house. Yep. Surrendering to all the things that no longer serve you. Releasing all that old energy. This is about endings, closure, uh, the afterlife, subconscious, all that stuff. So you may be having dreams that are really showing you what you're releasing. Um, and yeah, this is really, really beautiful. And underneath we have Venus. So amount, such a strong amount of love coming in for you guys and pleasure, you know, and no longer forcing and pushing and feel the need to have life as, as confined. It feels much more freeing. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop, all the information is down below. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.